Hey, Dr. Berg here. In this video, I'm going to talk about sleep and why people can't sleep. The main reason is they have stuck uh, encapsulated energy in their body. It's some old stress that's built up from old injury and old infection. That's one of the things that will definitely keep you from sleeping. And you can learn that in my acupressure course. But today we're going to talk about some of the common remedies for the different problems because there's different types of sleep problems. You have sleep apnea, which basically is high level of that cortisol, that stress hormone that causes belly fat, and that elevate, it, it shrinks a nerve. It's the, called the hypoglossal nerve. That's the 12th cranial nerve, and that nerve goes to the nasal passages right here. When it shrinks, it shuts down the air so the person can't breathe, and especially at night, because that's when it's activated. So during the day, it might be okay. Um, and the other thing that uh, causes sleep problems is the bladder. So waking up, urinating a lot. Again, that would be adrenal. Yeah. The other thing that will cause uh, sleep problems would be a lack of calcium from acid urine and um, consuming lots of acid foods, and it depletes the uh, calcium. Or it could be high levels of cortisol depleting the calcium. And that sensation would be difficulty getting to bed because you can't wind down mentally in your head. So your head is basically tired, but it can't relax. So you need some simple calcium. Take calcium citrate or calcium lactate. Take it before you go to bed, like five, and you'll go out. And by the way, as a side note, for children, every single childhood illness, I don't care what it is, fever or infection, I give my kids calcium and it knocks it out fast. It helps them sleep because one thing that will keep you up is those kids. So definitely give them some calcium. You can give it to them even if they're very, very small. Crush it up, put it in applesauce, give it to the kid, and he'll be sleeping like a baby. Of course, crying all night, waking you up. So the other thing you want to do uh, is when you go through a mental stress and you're thinking a lot, you deplete the a vitamin called B1. B1 um, helps to counter stress. If you're going to take B1, make sure that you consume it naturally because most B vitamins are made synthetically. One thing that I recommend is you can just get it from brewer's yeast, um, I'm sorry, nutritional yeast at the health food store. That way you know it's not synthetic. But that B um, vitamin really is wonderful for extracting the, the sensation of the nervousness, the nervous restlessness that people get when they're sleeping. Um, so when they take it, they almost feel like they have more tolerance to stress. So that would be some common causes of sleep problems um, that I have found over the last 23 years.